Welcome everybody back to Boost in Motion, guys. And today, well, we're gonna get some new tires or used tires for the Infinity Q60. Hit the intro. Welcome everybody back to Boost in Motion, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you. So welcome back, welcome back everybody to the channel. So I got a DM for one of my people who added me at Boost in Motion on IG. He said, Boost, hey, I'm, I have some tires for sale. And I said, hey, what tire size is that? He said, 245, 40, R19. I said, you're in Brooklyn? He said, yes. I said, say no more, I'm gonna come get those tires. So we're gonna go get some tires because you guys know that my tires are bald or bolding on the outer edge. So let me show you how they look. All right, so take a quick look. In an old video, I talked about how the tires are bald and Vroom actually gave me some money towards getting new tires. So this was the inner shoulder. The tire was actually on the other side. So what I did was to give me some time, this is all the way from February to now, we are in August, I just rotated the tires or flipped the tires. We call it tire flipping. So rather than have this part there, there, I just put it there. That's it, just swapped it to the other side. But over time, I'm starting to get camber wear again. Even though I got alignment, the alignment may be off, you know, it is what it is. I did put a lot of miles on this car. Even though I did get it aligned, there is a lot of cupping, so the toe is off. So I'm, I'm going to get some new tires. I don't know if I'm going to get the alignment done today, but I'm going to get the, the alignment done soon. But anyways, let's go. Let's get these tires, and let's go. Now, bear with me. I already know you guys wrote in the comments and said, oh, my God, Boost is so cheap. He's so frugal. He was riding on old tires. Listen, Vroom gave me a certain amount of money towards tires. I took that money and put it towards other things, car parts. But at the end of the day, I knew I wasn't driving this car that often, and I, I used to work in the tire industry. You ever know mechanics that like put their cars together with zip ties? It's kind of the same way in the tire industry. You know you can get some more life out of them. Plus, they run flats, so I didn't want to just throw away the run flats. I would rather get a leak or puncture or blow on the run flats and then still drive on them. At least I got the use out of them. But in this case, it's a crazy good deal. Guy wants about $200 for a set of four. You already know these are Chinese tires. But it is what it is. Um, that's what I need it for. But there's also a couple of reasons why I, why I'm actually getting these tires. And I guess I haven't told y'all guys why. So I'm going to let you guys know why. So this Saturday in Long Island, there's going to be a runway event. Yes. So Long Island never had a drag strip in decades. So they're actually bringing this back on an airstrip. It's going to be an eighth mile. And your boy Boost is going to be attending the first event. So for me to pass tech, I need to have tires with good tread. I'm not gonna go buy $800 um, tires because you guys know I have two cars and I may not keep this Q60 that long and project it in my mind. So, and plus I have two cars, so I could just drive the other car when I'm not driving this. So I really wouldn't get the mileage out of the tires. So I'm gonna go with a more affordable, cheaper brand, used brand, and we're gonna install it on the car. But also on top of that, too, remember I have a drag set of tires. I have NT05Rs on a drag set of lightweight inky wheels. So I'm pretty much gonna have that set up for the drag event. So this is why I need to get the, tri the tires so I can pass tech. Um, and then we get to see what this car really do. But also, shout out to Intrac. We're once we go pick up these tires, we're gonna go right over to Intrac and have these tires installed by them. And I'm probably gonna keep one or two of the old tires and want the best ones, just in case if I, if I do have a blowout that I can just swap right over um, to a spare tire for the time being until I get a new tire to replace it. Always do that if you can, guys. If you have somewhere to store at least one of the tires when you shout out to the Ford, do that. Because when you have a blowout, it's very inconvenient when you have to put the spare on, where in case most cases like me or us, we don't have spare wheels, you know, spare or donuts. So, it kind of makes sense to try your best to actually keep a spare tire just in case. You never know. I'd rather have a tire with low tread than no tire at all, just to be honest. But anyways, let's continue. Uh, let's go check and get these tires. All right, so these are the four tires that I'm getting. The <laughs> Road Cruiser tires. Yes, I know you guys are flaming me. But I do like some of the specs. It's a 98W tire, and there's an inside and outside to it. And the traction and tread wear is pretty good. Uh, a, A, and 380, so I'm not too mad at the specs on this tire. 
DOT's 2017, so they're about four years old, but can't be $200 with great tread. So anyways, let's get these tires to in track and get them installed. So for the people that want to know, can you put four sets of tires in your Q60? Well, one, two, three, and I have one in the trunk. I could probably have got all four up here and I had to move this, this, uh, this, this seat forward because it's actually the, the back is actually I could probably still put a tire right in the seat so right now I have yeah set of four tires in them and that, that means it could have had the wheels on it but then I'm also making my interior nasty all right guys so just pulled up to Intrac tires in Queens so definitely check them out you already guys you already know the deal this is only the one only place I go to get any tires installed on any of my vehicles especially my Q60 also, shout out to the G7, G37 crew, man. I'm telling you, this car is literally 13 years old, 2008. And it's so crazy that some cars just not are not aging. And these are one of the cars. It's literally not aging. Add a, a wide body kit to it. Add air, add wheels. Car is sexy. And the thing is... They still like it's the car isn't old like at all. And the funny thing is, you can cop a G35 coupe and do the same thing, and you're like, yo, these cars look freaking amazing. Shout out to this owner. Um, take a quick look. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of. Let me see if I can do some cinematography a little bit here with it. But so, anyways, let's jump into it. You know what I like the best part about when someone does a carbon fiber uh, trunk or spoiler? When they incorporate the color of the car to the carbon. Look how they put the, car, uh, the color of the car going straight across the strip. These little attention to details is what makes the quality of the build even so much more. That you're, that you're literally being a lot more surgical than regular people who just throw on carbon fiber parts. So definitely guys, this guys gives you a couple of ideas on how you should actually paint a lot of these things. But outside of that, I think this car looks good. I see Motodonic exhaust tips, carbon fiber rear diffuser, Versace uh, license plate. I mean, that's pretty freaking dope. I don't know, man. I told you guys already that I wanted a G37 since last year, and I think I'm still going to feel the same exact way. It's not going to go anywhere. I've always wanted a G37 Coupes, and pretty much all the cars I ever wanted to own that were more affordable, I've owned. And this is one of the cars that I haven't owned, owned yet, so... You're going to probably see that, and you're probably going to see it replace, most likely you're going to probably see it replace, the Q60. After the Q60 is gone, I want to do a G37 build, so we're going to have to see how that turns out. All right, guys, so while we wait while the Q60 is getting worked on, right, let's talk a little bit about this um, drag strip I'm going to. So shout out to, give me one second, I want to make sure I get their IG right, but... The, the track is called uh, Race Track Not Street. That's their IG label. And I believe they're working with Long Island Needs a uh, uh, Drag Strip, which is also another IG. So what they're doing is, uh, pretty much from what I can know, in the past they, never, they haven't had drag strips in a very long time. So now that city of Calverton, Calverton, I think that's what I believe the name of it. Someone's going to com comment below what the proper name of it is. Um, they allow this specific company to come in and do eight drag trip events at the airport, at their um, old airport, um, for people who want to do quarter mile racing. They're just going to give it a shot. And I think this is pretty cool that counties like to do this stuff because one, it brings revenue be to that actual um, county. Two, it, it's also something that gives people things to do. It's pretty cool. I think it's a super dope thing. And I realize that that's something that they're going to do in Long Island. But also to continue, knowing that it's been an eight mile track, you guys know I have experience going to Bond to Fame's uh, drag events at hit at the Waltzboro Airport, which is upstate New York. They don't do that anymore. Um, so you guys saw how my Q50 performed in their quarter mile. And even in some of these races, I could get out and beat people in an eight-mile track. But quarter mile was a lot harder with the faster car, especially if they're all drive. But knowing that this is going to be a no prep, um, I'm kind of excited to see what cars are going to be out there. Of course, it's going to be... Some probably people who have their own built cars with uh, 
you know, old schools that's going to pay for property out there, people who know how to drag on the street. But I also feel like there's going to be a couple of BMW and 4M3 guys that are not all drive and a few other road drive cars that are going to come out just because how often do they get a drag strip? And this is the perfect time for the Q60 to pop up and be like, hey, let's do a, let's do a run with each other. They're like, oh, yeah, they don't know too much about Q60s and I freaking drag them. So I'm actually kind of excited. I really want to know how this is going to turn out. So for now, let's go take a look and see how these tires are turning out. And yeah. All right, take a look at the first tire. Take a look. See how good thick that tire tread is? Oh my God, compared to my old tires? Oh man. I definitely gotta, definitely gonna have to wash your, uh, this car too now soon. Cause you know, once you put on new fresh tires, you gotta get that nice good car wash. But yeah, it's definitely looking a lot better. The tire tread, he's gonna let me know if the tires have any, um, if it's hard to balance or anything like that, or if there's any bubbles or punctures, they're also checking for that too. All right, guys, I already know you guys are going to make fun of me, but your boy Boos got new tires, you, new used tires. The guy said he actually only had about a 1,000 miles on these tires, even though the DOT is old. He said he literally all had them on some wheels, and he took the wheels off because he gave them to, like, his friend or something like that. So he said he was just trying to sell the tires for super cheap. But shout out to you, brother, for the crazy good deal. I know they're not performance tires, but I'm just, remember, guys, I'm only doing this. For a little while, this car isn't going to be a car that I might have forever. Let me turn the wheel straight, too, because it looks funny with the way it's sitting. And I know you guys want it to look nice and flush. So, so remember, guys, I'm only going to have it on the car for a little while. And, and or when I choose to trade the car in or possibly sell it. So, these are going to be my daily tires for the time being it is what it is guys remember i have two cars so i don't need to spend 800 dollars on tires and i don't race my car or nothing like that it's really from point a to point b you know it is what it, even though i'm technically get it for a race wink 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 it's just that i can't pass spec with the other tires that i had so outside of that guys uh hit the like on the button also check out in uh in track tires in queens shout out to the owner Vern man so much love much appreciate him always continuing to work with the channel also shout out to anybody who's part of the boost in motion family i always want to continue to show love for the boost in motion family so otherwise than that guys you have a good morning good afternoon good night thank you guys i appreciate you guys so much guys you have a good day thank you everybody for watching do appreciate you guys love you guys very much you can also check out the two links i posted for some of my other videos also on top of that if you want to purchase some boost in motion merch definitely check the link that i posted also and finally if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them please hit the link for to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you